Hey guys, how's it going? It's Jewel Tolentino here. All right, so in this video, I'm gonna be showing you guys how to do a cool framing effect for your videos in Camtasia. All right, so I've got an example here on the screen and you see this, we've got Arit here in the video and we've got a circle around her and then like a black background happening. So I'll just play a little bit of it so you guys can get a feel for what I'm going to be showing you. Hello everyone, it's Orit here. This is a follow-up video to one that I released earlier this year explaining the cost of Etsy fees. So earlier this year... So as you can see, it is a cool effect in that Orit is sort of like in this circular profile and then I've left it blank over here with the black because you can actually put text on the screen and it's kind of like it almost like gives it a professional PowerPoint type feel to it and let me show you guys how you can get something like this because you actually need to create it outside of Camtasia and then bring it in. So because we can't create this uh, circular effect here, this is a transparent effect right now. You see this? I'll move this out of the way. This thing is actually transparent and you can see like a very light uh, outline of the circle and that, that means that this actual circle part is transparent. As you can see when I put the video underneath it, it is the circular part is transparent and that's what you want. So this is how I created it. It's in a program called Paint and it's free. I'm, I'm not on a Mac, I'm on a regular PC and I'm sure that Mac has an equivalent to something like this and it's very simple what you need to create. So first you want to make sure that you've got like the right dimensions. So I'm here in Paint and then I'm going to go to Resize and then click pixels and then just make sure that it's 1280 by 720. Click OK and then we want to do the same thing. We'll do a black background. Now you can do it the other way around and have a white background with a black circle. It really doesn't matter but for this we'll do a black background. So I want to click the paint can because it's going to make the whole thing black. So if I just click on it then now the whole thing is black and now I want a white circle so I'm on color one, I'm going to click the white and then I'm going to go to the circle thing, they call it oval and then I'm going to draw out the circle while holding the shift key because that's going to make it more of a perfect circle because if you don't then it's like, you know, you can do whatever but if you click the shift key then it's going to hold it as a regular circle. So let's say something like that there and you can position it. You can make it bigger if you want. Okay, so maybe something like this and then this is what you need to put into Camtasia and then you can manipulate it and remove the background so that you can have a transparent circle. So now I'm going to save this, save as and you save it as a PNG, JPEG, whichever one you want and then you'll have, let's go back to Camtasia something like this. So you'll have something like this and as you can see it's not transparent yet so we need to add transparency on it and you want to head over to visual effects. Now you might have to click the more key to get it but I already clicked on it so that's why it's there and you go to visual effects and then you go to remove color and you drag that down and then you go over here under remove a color, click the arrow, click the dropper thing, click the white circle, and then there Arete appears. You can also play with the tolerance, softness, and defringe to help uh, remove some of that white around the circle. So let's see if this does anything. If I go down a little bit, it did affect it a little bit. Tolerance, let's go a little bit higher. As you can see, if I go all the way to 100%, then it removes it pretty well. Softness, oh, yeah, okay. So 
Actually, yeah. If we go max on that, then that's fine. And if we play that... This video... Okay, so then, it's not automatically going to be placed in here. So I'll just delete the video, and then go back to the media. And let's say we had something like this, and we want to go and place it. We put it underneath, it has to be underneath, because if you put it on top, then it's just going to cover the whole thing. It has to be underneath so that the black background and the circle are on top so that you can place this within the circle. You can put Arit's face within the circle. Now, within here, you can see that it's completely off. Let me just stretch this out a little bit. Hello everyone, it's Arit. Okay, so it's completely off. We need to place it. So click on the actual video and shrink it to size to get it to fit. Now, if you don't grab it by this middle part here, it's going to grab the actual black background. So if I go like this, see? Oh, I'm moving the black background now. I'm not actually moving the video. So make sure that when... It's because they're both on top of each other that they get kind of mixed up. So you need to make sure to click on the circle and then you'll be able to move it accordingly. And then you can also use the up and down arrow to move it as well. If you want to get more precise, and you can make it a little bit bigger or smaller, whichever you want. Something like that. And then if you click out of it, box will go away. And then here, this is you have a something that looks video. like this. It looks very clean, looks very professional. And then you can go and grab some text. So let's say we have some text here. I went to annotations and I grabbed the larger text. There's a smaller version as well. And we take this text and let's say we put it here. And let's see how to sell on Etsy. Let's just do a test here. Put something like that. You can even play around and put like borders and stuff and put some, you can put a, a shape behind this how to sell on Etsy thing. Let's see, how to sell on Etsy. Let me grab a shape and let's see what that looks like behind the text. There's many different ways to play around. So let's change the color of this. Let's see. Blue. Outline blue. Okay, so now this is... Make sure that it's behind. It's, it's underneath the text, right? Because if I put it above, it's going to cover it. So if you... Something like that. Extend it a bit. Extend it a bit. Okay, now we're... Now it's like really starting to take shape now. And then... You can add more text below, like this is the heading, right? And then you can add some text below, so let's go back to the text. And then let's just pretend here. Sign up for... Let's see. <laughs> I'm just doing some quick bullet points here for show. Make it smaller. Let's see here. I want to align this. This is alignment center. I want to align it left so it's easier for me to work with. Something like... Line it up with that side. Sign up for Etsy. And let's just copy it. So that we have another one. Just to show you like if you had more bullet points. Just as an example. So as you can see here, it's starting to look really professional. 
it's starting to look very clean. The circular feature I find looks cool. I mean, you can do a square one if you want as well. Hello everyone, it's Orit here. This and you can have pictures pop up. It's kind of like doing a PowerPoint. It's kind of like a slide, like this looks like it's a slide or something. And then you can have the circle of Orit stay there the whole time. And then this text right here, the sign up for Etsy stuff, you can have that changing throughout or even have the title changing throughout depending on whatever you're talking about. So the key here is that you need to create the circle part, this whole thing in something like a paint or whatever kind of thing, Photoshop. I just chose paint because everyone has access to this kind of thing, it's free and not everyone knows how to use Photoshop. You just need to create something like this. Now you might need to play around with the size of the circle um, if it's going to be too big or too small because once you set it, you cannot change it. You can't change it once you're in Camtasia. So just make sure that you know you have that already set, the size of the circle and the placement before you actually start doing the whole editing because you won't be able to move it after that. I mean, you could essentially delete this and then redo it and then place it, but you just want to make sure that it's good from the beginning so you won't have to do that. So that is how you do this cool circle profile PowerPoint type effect in Camtasia. You guys should definitely try it out in your videos if you do like a tutorial style or a presentation type style. It really makes for a clean look on your videos. So if I was able to help you out at all, please let me know by giving this video a like, a comment, or subscribe. All that would be very much appreciated. And if you want to check out the Camtasia software, you guys can do so by heading down to the description below. I will have a link for you guys. Thank you guys so much for watching, and I'll see you in the next video.